I... Did I... Did I hit someone? It's okay. Matthew 19, 25. Who can be saved? Our Lord and Savior looked at him and said, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all, all things, things are, are possible. possible. <laughs> Come here with us, son. You're clearly in need of help, dear. What, what about my car? You just need a proper night's rest. Trust us. I can cook us a midnight supper. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds nice and all, but I should really get medical attention. Nonsense, honey. Come in. Listen, come with us and we'll take good care of you till you get back on your feet. And you would think that the sand would be her issue. Definitely my issue. Cinnamon donuts, you guys. That is literally the perfect- No, wait, you should tell them about Thursday. Hey, these guys are gonna enjoy Thursday. I think a lot of people would enjoy Thursday. Okay, all right, let me, let me just paint a picture for you guys, okay? So we're there, all right? She's laying there just looking beautiful. The mood is set, okay, candles lit. Long story short, we are just hitting that shit from the back. Like, I'm talking assembly line in it. Like, there's there's three of you, there's like more than one. Yeah, I mean, we're sitting there, I'm just jerking my cock right in her face. And for a minute there, we just time stopped, you know? And there was just this beautiful bust. And then time resumed and it hit her face and she's loving it, my buddy's loving it. And oh my God, my buddy's balls. Fucking huge, okay? And then he got my balls also fucking huge. She's fucking slapping. She's eating that shit up quite literally. She's fucking digging it. He's digging it. It was an experience. One I realized uh, it's probably more of a you had to be there moment. But I enjoyed it. She fucking enjoyed it. And that's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> so Brad, Brenda, when the hell are you gonna break the news, huh? It's supposed to be a surprise. Come on, my little cum slut. Go spit it out. We're pregnant. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Sure, it's not a furball. I'm sorry. I was just saying how wonderful it is that you two are having a baby. You're gonna be parents. Tremendous, guys. Really. Brad's hoping it's a boy. Fingers crossed. Why, so he can come on your face too? <clears throat> guys, I'm sorry, I apologize. My wife had a little bit too much wine. Amen to that. Mm. Oh, we should celebrate. Let's. Celebrate, huh? Hmm. Drink up, sweetie. Did I ever tell you guys the story of how we met? It's a good one. So. I'm gonna use this as a prop, okay? The cock. And we're gonna use these as the balls. Not this many balls, but still some balls, okay? This is the best part of the story, I promise. The balls sit here and the fluffer just has to diddle them just a little bit to make sure the cock stays hard, right? 
That's my wine. Yeah. Don't fucking touch my cheese. You fucking cousin! You sick fucking bastard! You fucking scum! You scum! Shut up! No, I net. Oh, no, baby, but her voice is so gross. I understand, sweetness. Shh. Move a muscle or else we will kill you. Stand here as long as you can and we might just let you live. like going fishing, huh? <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you, sweetness. <laughs> wow, this is so soft. Mm, yes, we uh, love being comfy. <laughs> we do. Mm. Mm. Thank you both. So much. Kind of chewy, but I really appreciate your kindness. No need to thank us. That's what God intended for us. I really thought I hit somebody. You know, I'm from a family of delusional people, and whenever someone in my family hallucinates something, it's always in times of crises. So, honestly, it makes perfect sense that you manifested a tied-up woman in your mind's eye. But I can assure you, no one else was there. Yeah, but it's just so weird. Like. How did I crash if I didn't hit anything? I mean, it could have been a rock. You never know. God does work in mysterious ways. So true. Mm -hmm. mm. Right. Well, I think I best be going. I mean, I'm still kind of hurt from the accident. I think I should go like urgent care or something, but really delicious. Ooh. Could you stay just a little longer? I mean, it's just so rare that we have guests and... It'd be nice to have some company. Five minutes couldn't hurt, right? Uh, yeah, I... Uh, I guess. Oh. Do you write, Brett? Edward. Oh. Do you write, Edward? Not really. What do you mean, not really? I write, um... <clears throat> oh, uh, poetry. Oh, poetry! poetry. <laughs> <laughs> My husband is such a lovely poet. Oh, sweetheart, I'm okay. Baby, do you mind reading a little bit of something for, um... It's Edward. <clears throat> Edward. <laughs> do you mind reading for Edward? Oh well, I mean, if you insist. Mm. Yay! No, no, really, it's okay. I'm, I'm really <coughs> feeling all that well. <coughs> Did you put anything in the stew? <coughs> um, paprika. <laughs> okay. It was dawn. The ice caps melted from what seemed to be an unbearable, endless summer. Some called it wrath. <coughs> I called it nature. The Lord summoned the wrath of nature to rid the world of evil. When Mother Nature refuses to take all the vile vermin, the Lord intends to perish from the face of the earth. 
a little nervous, sweetheart. Oh, but you're doing so good, honey. Yeah. Okay. The Lord intends to perish from the face of the earth. We messengers of death. We'll be here to fulfill the Lord's divine justice. Is he dead yet? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs>